Guys, some of you subscribers out there are gonna recognize this leaf blower right here. I've used it on two different videos. One where I pulled it straight out of the garbage can and I showed you how I repaired that. The other one, I hacked the screws on this thing so you could just use a little flat screwdriver like that instead of using the specialty screwdriver that the manufacturer wants you to use on that. Uh, hey, if you missed those ones, little link up here in the I button again, as well as at the end of this video, I got some clickable thumbnails there that you can click on to get back to some of those. Um, this thing doesn't owe me anything, guys. I'm gonna run some straight unmixed fuel through this thing today, and we're gonna see what actually happens to the piston, the engine in this thing, when you do that. Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon again. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I've got my website right here along the bottom, stevesmallengesaloon.com. Check that out when you get a chance. So yeah, we are going to run some straight fuel, unmixed fuel through this thing today. And so we can actually see what happens to the piston and cylinder on this thing when you accidentally forget to put mix oil or something like that in your fuel. Um, oh yeah, you guys caught me out there drinking some Molson Canadian, didn't you? Molson Canadian, yummy. Try that out. I know you Canadians will be. I'm going to pull the muffler off of this thing right now. So I can show you right in there that the piston is actually in really good shape right now. And it is. I've already had this muffler off, but I'm just going to show you. Now, if you look in that, in that uh, through that exhaust port right there where you pulled that muffler off. See that? I mean, that is in great shape right there. That piston is absolutely perfect. Barely a scratch on it. The piston ring on there is perfect, it's not stuck or anything. This engine is in great shape. I'm gonna put the muffler and, and the, the uh, cooling shroud, everything back on there. I'm gonna dump all the mixed fuel out of this and we're gonna put some straight fuel in here. Uh, just give me a second to button all this up again. All right, guys, just got it all buttoned back up again. We are gonna dump the mixed fuel out of this thing now. Get rid of all of it. Straight gas going in. This is the first time I've ever done this on purpose. I don't know if I've ever done it on accident either. I'm going to stick with that story. There we go. Pump all that out of there. Let's go outside. See what kind of damage this does. Here we go. Don't forget your beer. What was that? Nine minutes, almost exactly nine minutes for this thing to fail. We're gonna pull that muffler back off again and we're gonna see what kind of damage this did to that piston. Uh, my guess is, is because, you know what, I pulled it out there. This thing has absolutely no compression now, no compression. 
So what I'm guessing is that uh, right on that exhaust side of the piston, where right through the exhaust port when I pulled this muffler off for you, I'm guessing that the piston ring got melted right over top and it, it sucked that piston ring in, melted it, which is the piston rings we all know are what uh, are responsible for creating compression in that thing. I think it's probably melted right over top. Let's have a look. Give me a second again. I'm not Superman. Take me a minute. Okay. <laughs> got that muffler off. Hot. Hot. Let's have a look. Yep. Look at that right there. That piston is scored really bad now. Really bad. And that piston ring right there is melted over the top and it's stuck in now from that scoring and that's why we have no compression anymore. I actually did try to start it out there again. No compression, of course, is not gonna start. That is why we want to have proper mixed fuel. That's the moral of the story. We wanna mix our fuel properly with nice fresh fuel and good quality mix oil. I got a link on my description if you wanna go back and look at my description for uh, some good quality mix oil. Check that out when you get a chance. I got a quick before and after picture for you guys here so you can see this a little bit more clearly. This is before and this is after. Big difference between it running and not running. Well, I know I destroyed something else guys, but it's very interesting and it actually teaches us all something when I do this. Give me that thumbs up button guys. Share this with your friends. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Put some comments down. Let me know what you thought of this video. And uh, I am working hard on the next video as we speak. Steve out.